Hello everyone in Medical Scribe. I'm Karar Haider, student at Baghdad Medical College. In the previous video, we talked about the tendon sheath and we explained its definition. Then we explained the sheath structure. And lastly, we talked about its functions. All that were in the previous video. Why today we will talk about a different topic that is related somehow to the clinical anatomy, which is the skin tension lines. The simplest definition we can define the skin tension lines with is that these tension lines will represent a map of direction. In this map, there will be an illustration about the sites or the regions in which the tension on the skin will be in its maximum. And these virtual lines usually drawn on a diagram of a human body. All right. Now we knew that the skin tension lines will illustrate the maximal tension on the skin in different body regions. But we didn't know why the maximal tension occur in these specific sites while it didn't in others. Or before that, we may ask ourselves that from where these lines raised. So, in order to understand the origin of these tension lines, we should clarify the following two things. The first one is that the skin tension lines will reflect or work as a mirror to the internal tension of the skin. So, as you know, there is a connective tissue in the dermis under the skin surface. This connective tissue will be organized or aligned in a specific pattern. So this alignment, and in that way, will make an internal tension on the skin. As a result, this internal tension will affect the external tension or the tension lines. And if we need to dig deeper in the internal tension, we will find that the internal tension is of two types, passive and active. The passive tension is due to the collagen fibers alignment in the connective tissue why the active tension will occur due to the contraction of the fibroblast cells that are also found in the connective tissue. So the result of these two types of tension will make the internal tension that affect the shape and the distribution of the skin tension lines. The second thing that we have to understand is that the skin tension lines will differ from person to person and its distribution pattern will be affected depending on the protrusions of the bones and the muscles under this skin, which is of course will differ from person to person. And the movement of the joints will also affect these lines. So these two things are the most important one in understanding the origin of the skin tension lines. Well, after we understood the origin of these tension lines, we have another question may come to our mind, which is how many types of tension lines we have. In fact, we have two main types of skin tension lines, which are the Langer's lines or cleavage lines and the Crassel's line or wrinkle lines. These two types, in addition to the application of the skin tension lines, will explain in the part two of the skin tension lines in the upcoming video. So these were an introduction to the skin tension lines. And that's it. I hope what I said makes sense. See you next video and goodbye.